Hello class, I welcome you all to this session. This session we are going to look into problem number 21. Oswald Ullen Mills Amrister, Punjab, sold shawls to Gupta Shawls Jaipur as per details. Sold 100 shawls at rupees 200 per shawl on 4th Jan 2019. IGST is levied at 12%. Trade discount 25% and cash discount 5% if full payment is made within 14 days. Gupta Shawls sent 50% of the payment on 14th Jan 2019 and balance payment on 10th Feb 2019 past journal entry. Now this is the question. What they are asking? They are asking to pass journal entry. So first of all, let us understand how much sold, how much of shawls is sold, who sold to whom? Oswell sold to Gupta. What shawls? How many shawls? 100 shawls. Per shawl rate is 200. So total amount of shawls that is 100 shawls into rupees 200 each so how much is it it is 20,000 after that there is a trade discount of 25% now trade discount of 25% is 5000 so actual amount the cost after the trade discount is 15000 now with this you have to add igst because it is uh, interstate sales sales between punjab and jaipur amritsar and jaipur so you have igst 12% So, 15,000 into 12%, that is 12 divided by 100, will be 1,800. Totally, 16,800. Now, the payment, if it is paid, full payment is paid within 14 days, you are entitled to avail 5% cash discount. But what happens? Gupta Shawls, sent 50% of the payment on 14th Jan 4th Jan to 14th Jan so that comes to around 10 days and the balance payment of 10th February so obviously this condition is not satisfied so no cash discount as payment is made after 14 days maybe you can write uh, made as half payment is made after 14 days okay now <clears throat> or payment is made in two installments full payment is not made next journal entry is asked now, how to solve this journal entry? First, we need to record the sales. So, you have Gupta. Gupta is a debtor. So, Gupta saw Shawl's account debit to sales account to output IGST to output IGST. So, totally 16,800 sales value is 15,000 1,800 is to output IGST. Okay. So, this is sale is over. Now, we need to pay cash payment in two installments. So, first installment 
paid on Jan 14. Yes, first installment is paid on Jan 14. The transaction happens on Jan 4th. So I've just mentioned here. So Jan Jan 14, cash <coughs> account debit. Debit what goes out from Gupta Shawls, cash is going out to who is the giver? Gupta Shorts. Okay. So he is a giver. So totally you have 8400. How did I get this 8400? 16800 divided by two installments. So it is 8400. The next uh, uh, sale they are compensating. They are paying at on 10th Feb. Feb 10th. Cash account debit to Gupta Shawls 8400. So this is the entry. I hope that this is clear. The next question, 25th question, journalize the following in the books of Amit Sani, Gurgram, Haryana. Now the transaction number 1, goods of 5000 were taken by him for personal use. Whenever there is personal use, you need to take it as drawings. So you need to take it as drawings account debit now when goods are taken for personal use it is a it reduces your purchases so two purchases okay purchases account two input cgst and two input sgst you may wonder how did this input CGST and how uh, input SGST came in the last line of the question. So I've just read the question before itself. So just uh, listen to this. CGST and SGST is to be levied on intra, intra, okay, intra state sales at 6% each and IGST at 12% on interstate sales. So, they have just mentioned this. So, this is within state. Okay, that is intra. So, input CGST account to input SGST account. Okay. So, this is how you need to write it. Now, here, when drawings is being done, it reduces the purchase. Obviously, the value related to CGST and SGST also is to be uh, ratified that is clear so totally 5000 is the purchase value 5000 into 6 percentage that comes to 300 300 each so 5600 okay the next one 2000 due from Sohan were bad debts rupees 2000 due from Sohan were Bad debts. Now, bad debts, it is a loss. Bad debts account debit to whose account related to whom it is Sohan. Sohan account. Debtors is no longer a debtor. That's why Sohan is credited. 2000. Next, goods of 6000 were destroyed by fire and were not insured that is not insured sorry not insured i okay okay it is destroyed by fire whenever it is destroyed by fire it is a loss so depict all expenses and losses loss by fire account debit to purchases account to now you should understand when the, whenever there is loss whenever there is um, you know uh, this is a like a uh, 
catastrophe. Purchases, it get affects, it affects purchases because goods are lost by fire, destroyed by fire. So, it reduces your purchases. Generally, when goods are being purchased, what will you write? When goods are, goods are purchased, <coughs> you will write it like this. Purchases account debit to cash. Okay. So, this will be the journal entry. Now, goods, this purchases worth 6,000 is destroyed. You cannot have purchases as 6,000 anymore. So, you need to cancel this. How to cancel? Debit becomes credit here. Okay. So, loss by fire account debit to purchases account. So, whatever is the input tax related to. Suppose, for example, you have an input tax. You will write it as input tax debit. Input tax debit like that. Output tax, you will show it in a different way. Okay. So, um, relevant. If it is sales, you will have output. If it is purchases, you will have input. To input CGST to input SGST. Okay. So, this 6000 I am sorry. Uh, totally, it is uh, purchase value is 6000. This will include the GST component. GST component 6000 into 6 percentage that is 360 so totally 720 right so 6000 720 okay 6000 720 next transaction paid rupees 4000 in cash wages on install installation of machine gst is not to be levied now gst is not there so whenever you are paying something as wages for installation of machinery it's add on it's add on to the capitalization cost of machinery okay so it will be shown as machinery account debit to cash account now this machinery is a capital expenditure okay so when you are first time when you are installing something for the first time whatever expenses that you have incurred towards the installation of machinery will be added to the cost of machinery so as far as this transaction is concerned you have to write it as machinery account debit to cash account that is 4000 and 4000 uh, the next transaction sold goods to arjun of delhi of list price 20000 trade discount at 10% and cash discount of 5 percentage was allowed. He paid the amount on the same day and availed the cash discount. Now, sold goods to Arjun. Okay. He paid the amount on the same day. So, it is a cash transaction. And availed the cash discount. So, how much is the list price? List price is 20,000 out of this 20,000 how much is trade discount trade discount is 10 percentage so 2,000 so after the trade discount you have the actual cost to be 18,000 uh, you have the GST component uh, see Delhi Sold goods to Arjun of Delhi. Now we are in Haryana. Am I right? So it is a Haryana and Delhi transaction. So interstate. Okay. IGST will get because Haryana is a separate person. Delhi is a union territory. Okay. So if it is within union territory, you will have UTGST and CGST. 
but since it is a, a state to state that is union territory to a state then you will actually have IGST so how much is IGST IGST component is 12 percent so what is 12 percentage on 18,000 12 percentage is 2160 totally how much you are supposed to pay you are supposed to pay 20,160 but he has paid on the same date and availed the cash discount now we need to deduct this cash discount of 5% so 20,160 into 5% 1,008 so totally how much is it we have to pay 19,152 now we have cash account debit discount allowed account debit because discount allowed we are selling goods we are allowing discount okay discount allowed is a cash discount that we have given then two sales to IGST account so cash how much is it we are we are supposed to pay 19,150 to discount allowed is 1,008 sale value is 18,000 IGST component is 2,160 I hope that this is clear the next transaction is received rupees 2000 from Ramesh whose account was written off as bad debts now it is bad debts recovered so cash account debit cash worth rupees 2000 coming into the business to bad debts recovered account okay this is 2000 then goods costing rupees 1000 given as charity now goods costing rupees 1000 given as charity now this is a charity whenever goods it's affecting goods you will know that purchases to be reduced so charity account debit to purchases account to input CGST to input SGST account now charity is how much it is 100 purchases worth rupees 100 now 100 into sorry 1000 into 6 percent that is 60 and 60 so how much will you show 120 so 1000 120 okay clear received rupees 9750 from Ramesh in full settlement of his account of rupees 10,000. Ramesh, we have previously uh, got a transaction. We have to check whether there is any transaction with Ramesh. No, previously there is no hint. So, what we have to do, we have to take this. Ramesh in full settlement of his due 10,000. Now, cash is coming into the business cash account debit there is a discount discount of rupees 250 10,000 minus 9,750 so it is a discount allowed account debit 
to Ramesh account. Okay, so cash, how much is received? Nine thousand seven fifty. Discount two fifty. Ramesh ten thousand. Now paid rent in advance. Now it is prepaid rent. In advance they are paying, so it is called prepaid. rent account debit to cash account 4000 i hope that this is clear to you uh, so with this we are ending the problem i'll see you in the next video till then keep practicing thank you class